I like the way this program is laid out because we have a Brahms symphony which is probably his most bright and radiant in terms of uh, just the pure joy and love and beauty that's expressed really throughout the symphony. Each one of Brahms' symphonies has a very different personality. And the second symphony is really all about light and joy and beauty, lyricism. It's got all the wonderful hallmarks of, of Brahms' musical style and the lyricism, the richness of texture, the beauty in the orchestration, the gift of melody, all those great things. Uh, so it's a, it's a piece that I never tire of and, and one that I know audiences really love and the orchestra loves to play it too. And I think it will go well with Jennifer Higdon's musical language because Jennifer has a way of, like Brahms, uh, being accessible but also having great depth to her music. And the fact that we're getting to have the very first performance of this brand new piece here in Rochester is a real honor and something that I, I'm so excited about, I can't tell you. Yolanda Kandanasis is the soloist and she is one of the premier harp soloists in the world today. So another highlight for our Rochester audiences. I'm really thrilled that she'll be with us. And Britain's four C interludes from, from Peter Grimes is a wonderful kind of highlight reel from the opera. It's a very powerful opera. There are four movements in the four C interludes. There's a lot of subtle danger in the dawn movement, the way the piece opens, so it's eerie. The second movement is called Sunday Morning, very different in character. And then the third movement again is, is contrasting, it's called Moonlight. And then back to the danger element again for the fourth movement, we have the storm. And the storm is it's a tour de force for the orchestra. It's, it's a real dynamic movement. I think Britain, um, pairs well with Higdon and I think Brahms pairs well with Higdon and I think the three will get along very well together.